out here and I have been working all day with my sister on Skype trying to get some work done around the house trying to get cleaned up and um, we got a long way to go but I'm gonna take a break to make dinner and tonight I'm going to be cooking some of the fresh fish that we caught down in um, South Carolina when we were down in Hilton Head uh, this in January we had it filleted up and we put it in the freezer and I pulled some of that out and we're gonna cook some of that tonight so I'm gonna be using the act fry I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing here and let's see how it turns out I have my act fry and I put some parchment paper on it I'm using the basket that goes in it and the basket will turn so that um, the fish will cook evenly all the way around this is the tea fowl act fry um, I have two different types of fish here. I have the red fish and a white fish here, and I'm going to cook up, cook both of those. I've got an egg in here, and I'm going to do a little um, egg wash with a little bit of milk, and then I'm going to use this Andy's fish breading red for perfectly seasoned fish and shrimp with paprika. So this is one tablespoon 30 calories um it has let's see cornmeal processed wheat uh enriched bleached wheat flour uh you can see the ingredients there so yeah it's good let's give it a try let's see what it tastes like let's see if steve likes it that's uh That'll tell if it's any good if Steve likes it. <laughs> so, all right, let's get ready. Let's uh, mix up these eggs. I'm going to do just a touch of milk in there. And I'm going to open the batter, um, the fish breading, and pour it in this other bowl, and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got the we got the fish in the wash. There's a couple of bones I can feel them, so I'm going to pull those out. Can you grab me a paper towel? Steve's home. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Oh, somebody didn't flay this one very well. Oops. Coat the fish. Put it in the fish fry. Put it in the act fry. Hopefully this piece doesn't have bones in it. Is that a coffee filter? No, it's parchment paper. It's a nice big white fish. That's the black drum. Is it? Nice. Nice piece of fish right there. That's the black drum. You didn't uh, take the other side off. Okay, uh, got the two pieces of the fish in the act fry. Only two fit. So I'm going to save the other one and do that one when this is done. Close it up. I'm going to start it. This only has one setting. So I'm going to put it on for... I'm going to try 10 minutes and I'll check it in just a little bit. This is the breading that we used. I only used a half of the package so we still have half a package to go. These are cooked 11 minutes. Um, halfway through about 5 minutes I sprayed the top with some canola oil um, so that it would brown up and this is how they look. They look pretty good. So Steve's going to take a test and see how this fish is that we caught ourselves and how the how the bat batter is.
the breading. It's going in for a second bite. That's it for me. It's good. Mmm. Tastes really good. That is good. Okay, that's a winner winner. It's not a heavy spice, it's not a spicy spice. Just a basic breading. It tastes so, really good too. Yeah, I think it tastes good. I'm liking it. So we're going to go ahead and cook the other piece of the fish. <clears throat> and we're going to get our dinner ready. I made some uh, Zanaran's yellow rice to go with it. And we have salad and there's some cantaloupe in the other bowl. So we'll fix ourselves a salad, get some rice, and we'll call it a night. So thank you all for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Try that breading if you haven't tried it yet. I think I got it from Kroger's. <coughs> and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. There you go. That looks like a thumbnail. <laughs> all right. Bye.